Hello guys and gals, Pixel Trustner here, and um, today um, I am making a tutorial on how to use uh, the Sound Keys plugin. So, what's the Sound Keys plugin? Of course, if you already downloaded it or you want to know how to use it, of course. Um, basically, I'm making this tutorial on how to use it because um, uh, it was requested by my friend at school. One of my friends, he wanted to know how to use Sound Keys, so I said, alright, I'll make you a tutorial. And yeah. So, alright, so the sound keys plugin is used for like uh, synchronizing the sound frequency, uh, blah, blah, the music frequencies to the the beats or something to the lights or whatever whatever you want to synchronize it with. So I'll be showing an example here. Um, I'm gonna choose this song. This song is awesome. So I'm drag it in. Um, composition settings. I'm actually gonna. Um, change it to 720p, uh, 29.97 frames per second, and okay, click okay. Um, let me zoom it in a little bit. Fit up to 100. There we go. All right. So to use the plugin, first you gotta create a new adjustment layer. Drag it in. Um, now add the effect trap code sound keys. Um, so this will appear. Um, first of all, you gotta select the audio layer which you'll be selecting, which is this one. Um, select it, and wait, what just happened? Oh, there we go. So a bunch of bars will appear. So if we preview it here. Uh, super slow. Oh crap! Yeah, this is, my computer doesn't like me. My computer super slow. I'm processing, and yeah, I'm recording and like processing. Alright, so if we see. Alright, so as you can see here, um, it actually shows like the the the, freak, blah, the amplitude of the music and yeah. Oh my God, you repeat. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alright, so if we see here, there's a different bars. So each bar represents a part of the frequency. So from low frequencies to high frequencies. So this is a bass, this is a bass, mid treble, and the treble, I believe. I don't know. So when you begin, you have this square right here. So what does this square? As you can see, the output changes depending on the position of the square. So what this actually does is actually it takes part of the music or sound frequencies that you select right here. This is actually range one. You can actually select between three ranges. So if I, um, this one is active, so if I activate this one, another one will appear, and I can, like, synchronize, like, different, um, stuff in the same layer, and yeah. Alright, so, oh, crap, lag. Alright, so, first of all, um, let's make an example here. Let's make, like, the screen shake, I think, or something. Or, let's make, like, oh, oh, wait. I think I can... Let's see. New what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. New layer. I'm gonna create a solid layer. Um let's see. I'm gonna create it white. And uh let's create it one hundred. No actually four hundred by four hundred. And click OK. I'm actually gonna create a mask. I know I can use the like shape layers, but shape layers a bit more complex to like synchronize it and I don't wanna go to in through detail. I might actually do a tutorial on that if you want to. Uh, Alright. Alright, so there we got a circle. If you want to know how I made a mask, a circle mask, um, with shortcuts, you just press, um, let's, alright, let me show you. Control Shift N, then I press Control Shift M, letter M, um, and then disappear, and then I press ellipse, reset to ellipse, and then there's ellipse. Yeah. Alright, so, now we actually go to adjustment layer. Let me actually let me put it down below. Yeah, there you go. So first of all, so I want to use the base in this in this video. I want to use the base, which is this one, because this is like dubstep remix. It's pretty cool dubstep remix. Um, so as you can see, these lines over here is output. So depending on the um, this the range you selected it will actually measure that same part and it will output in this bar so what does this bar actually does 
So, well, it actually, all right, so let me show you. Actually, let me move the range. What the heck? What's going on? After Effects, why are you doing this to me? Don't do this to me. What's going on here? I don't get it. Oh, there we go. I had to select the freaking effect first. All right, I'm just going to select this part right here. All right, so, right there. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, there's a bunch of op options here in the range. Um, range 1, and then the type, uh, I'll leave that there. The corner, which is this corner, fall off instant. So, the important here is the output, minimum and max. So, the output, minimum and max is this thing, the output of the range. So, if this fills up, the output will fill up, and it will, um, output a keyframe with a high value depending on what you select so i will highly recommend custom so what are we gonna do here uh let's select 100 and 400 so what i'm actually gonna do here is actually i'm gonna uh change the scale of of this actually what wait no no it's it's by percentage so that's 30 100 so what we're actually going to do here is we're going to resize this to the base of the music. So if it's, there's a lot of bass, it resizes to really big. And if there's little bass, it just goes, you know, like that. It goes a bit smaller. All right, so let me increase it. So once you got a range selected, what you want to do is in command, you press apply. Then wait for a bunch of time until thingy renders all right there we go sorry about that all right so if we go down here uh click effects sound keys and if you see the range range number one you can actually see it made a bunch of keyframes and yeah it actually makes a keyframe with different values and other stuff so um another thing about this yeah um make sure depends on what you want to use there's use comp, uh, composition frame per second, which is 29.97 frame per second, or you can just, just select it and choose another frames per second. But remember, if you want to make other changes to the range, just if you make it and you want to apply the effect, just remember each time you make a change, press apply. It will take a bunch of while to like uh, make the keyframes and all that, but all right, and yeah. All right, so now what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna go to scale, um, we're going to hold alt key, uh, uh, click it, and then this little thing right here, expression pick with, drag it up to output number one. And there we go. Okay, so now, uh, put this down, and then we put this down, put this down. Um, Alright, let's preview that. See if it actually works. There, as you can see, it actually like um, synchronizes to the audio, and that we selected. It all depends on the song that you want and all that. So you can select different ranges, and yeah. So as you can see here, it actually like. All right, let's, let's check it out. So yeah, as you can see, it actually like synchronizes to the bass. Actually, when I do videos like PMVs, like I'm making a PMV right now, I actually like to put, oh wait, I actually forgot something. You can actually put motion blur, motion blur makes it look awesome. But it takes a bit more time to render. Um, there's actually two options to make motion blur, internal motion blur or the C force motion blur. Which um, I won't be covering in here, but there's a little tip right there. Um, I won't be covering it here, but in another tutorial I will if, if you want to. Just leave it in the comments below what tutorial you want me to make and all that. So as you can see, I actually activated motion blur right there. And it actually looks a lot more smooth. It's pretty awesome. 
so yeah, that's that's an example. Like you, you can actually use this for many things for like lens flares or actually optical flares, which is another plugin, which is pretty cool. Um, and stuff like that and trap code particular and all that. It, oh, my accent just changed right there. So yeah, that's the basic of um, sound keys. Oh, actually, that's how you use it. It's pretty cool. All right, so yeah, this is the tutorial, and I hope you like the tutorial. Uh, you want me to make an After Effects tutorial? Just leave in the comments what type of After Effects tutorial you want me to make, and I'll be sure to make it. So thanks for watching. If you have any comments? Comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.